Hey all, bright sunny Sunday morning, I'm gonna go van part hunting. More specifically, there's somebody with a um, camper that I'm gonna try and buy the front end off of it. The It's got a chrome grill, chrome front bumper, all the stuff from the 76, so it's got the small bumper. I don't, strictly speaking, need the grill because I have one, but if it's nicer and straighter than the one I've got, because mine's got a couple little dents and stuff in it, then that'll be awesome. So let's get on the road. So it's snowing, and something fierce too. So that's gonna make this much more interesting real fast. Alright, and we're here. It's actually a used store at place, and I don't know where the guy is, so this could get interesting. Oof. Okay. Here, here's trash. Oh, it's rotted. Oh, crow's all bubbly. No, never mind. Yep, never mind. Chrome's shot. Grill's rotted through. Alright, so I just had an entertaining text conversation with the seller. I don't know if I may put it up or not. But basically, I was going to pay 280 for the front grill and the front bumper and the headlights, uh, the turn signals. And like I said, the grill's rotted through, the bumper's got a big chunk of chrome missing, it's got some holes in it from fog light so I kind of didn't want any of it but I was like you know what whatever I'll, I'll throw them a low ball offer because like the front turn signals would be useful to have as spares and maybe I could do something with that front grill or front bumper the grill's trash I don't want the grill at all so I was like 50 bucks take it or leave it and 70 nope 50 I'm, I'm already driving home so he's taking the 50 and he's all like kind of pissed off that like I don't know why you're expecting mint parts and it's like Dude, there's a huge gulf between a mint part and a part with holes in it. There's a huge gulf between a mint bumper and a bumper with a, like, space the size of a bumper sticker that's missing chrome. Like, whatever. So I'm not going to film getting the parts or being talking to the guy because I'm sure he's not going to be in the best of moods because I just he's just making way less off of me than he thought he was going to. Alright, update. I am pulling out of the Harbor Freight the Keen. It's like three minutes from the where this thing is because I don't have all the tools I need to get the front bumper off. I got the turn signals off, um, but some of the bolts for the bumper are hidden in a really weird place. I don't happen to have the exact combination of tools needed to get in there. Fortunately, they're tools I don't already own but would be useful, so it wasn't a huge deal to go buying them. Oh, I should not have gone this way. Do, do, do. We're just gonna turn around. Um, yeah, they're just they're they're sort of buried in a weird place. But okay, where the hell am I going the right way? Oh, sorry, confusing parking lot. Um, yeah, so I just gotta go back there and make another go at it. Honestly, if I can't get the bumper off, I'm just gonna walk away from it because 
it's not that great. It's looking worse and worse every time I touch it. But, eh, whatever, win some, lose some. Right, let me show you what I'm up against. I've got the two outer bolts out. Those were easy. However, there's two vertical bolts that hold the inner bracket in. On this side, barely even make... See where my finger's wobbling? Just inside the frame rail, which is that way, the bolts are basically there. But there's very little access because the radiator, the radiator bracket, whatnot. And then over on this side, there on the outside of the frame rail, up above the power steering pump, uh, not pump, um, gearbox. So this line blocks most of the access to them, plus some of the pump itself blocks access. So, yeah. So what I picked up is a swivel head that fits my big sockets, because I screwed up and the only correct 916s I brought were bigs. And I didn't bring a swivel head for this. I don't think I, I actually don't have one. So that, I bought that, and then I bought some retching wrenches that also have a swivel head for a similar sort of give me access. I didn't realize they made these. But now that I know they make them, I bought some. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try and use to get this. All right, and we're done. Got the bumper off. Like I said, I don't know if this is really worth even the amount of money I paid for it. But whenever I have it make that decision later. I've got front turn signals. These are unobtainium, so I don't know whether they're going to keep these as a spare set for myself or whether I'm going to sell them. I can probably get my money back if I clean these up and sell them, so that's a good thing at least. But yeah, I got this. once I had the right tools it wasn't that bad. The access sucked, but with the right tools I could manage to get in there. So yeah, I'm going to head home, put, add these to my supply of random van parts. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.